Can you identify any of the following five names? Machla, Noah, Chogla, Milka, or Tirza. You might say, oh, I know that Noah guy. He's the fellow who built the ark in uh, the book of Genesis. Well, first of all, his name was Noah. This is the name Noah, and it happens to belong to a woman, one of five daughters. All five of those names are women who were the daughters of Tzalachad. This story that occurs in our Torah portion, Pinchas, this week has a powerful message. We live in an age now, the 21st century, where the battle for egalitarianism for women's rights continues. Uh, we have not yet reached the age when there is equality between the genders. We will, we hope someday. This was the wish at the time of the story of the daughters of Tzalafchad, who came to Moses after their father died, because according to the practice then, they as women had no rights to inherit their father's estate. Their father, who was a good person, who did not participate in the rebellion against Moses in the wilderness, he left no sons. And therefore, they come to claim their rightful place as equals in that world. Now, this was a tough, tough story for Moses to deal with. So he took the matter directly to God. Even Moses would not want the decision just to come from him. And he comes back with a decision that, according to Moses, was God's decision. And it is the women have a right to inherit. That story today would be a great story. Thousands of years ago, it's an incredible story. Because this was, in some ways, a beginning for the battle for egalitarianism. We Jews read the Torah and get lots of messages. This is one that we can be proud of. And it's also a banner that we should continue to carry today in the ongoing struggle for equality for all people created in the image of God. Shabbat Shalom.